There is a tremendous amount of support uh, from the majority of the citizens to live within our means. Because I think, well, and I know, that's what I have to do in my business, that's what I have to do in my home, that's what you have to do in your homes. You have no choice. That's and you know what that's like. And I and I do tell this, you know, as a, as a parent, I never raising my kids on a budget. I never wanted to tell my kids they, they were going to have to do without something. I didn't like that. I didn't like coming in and saying, you know, we're not going on vacation. We're going to go to the park. We're not eating out on Sunday. We're going to stick a cheap, you know, chuck roast in the crock pot. And that's going to be the big meal for the week. I mean, I didn't like saying that, but I did that because I believe there was a future for my kids. I believe that because I cared for them and making a tough decision today was the way that I can ensure a better tomorrow for them. And I think we have to see the state in the same way. We, we can be pressured by the road builders who will say, listen, I'm taking you out in the next election. Well, I'm very fortunate. I have a real job. And, and nobody can threaten me and take me out. Uh, just so you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, I've got uh, two manufacturing companies and uh, been very fortunate to be successful. It's taken me a long time. Victoria taught in East St. Louis while I was starting the business and we lived on her, her salary and everything I had, I put back into the business. And finally, after 15 years, we got it going. Um, I would hope that raising tuition was the last resort because I think it's difficult already. As, as I said, I don't think we're very competitive as it is. And, and everyone that says, listen, I've had enough, I'm going to Mizzou, uh, Drury, or wherever they're going, um, that sure doesn't help us. Um, if we could, you know, if you bumped, uh, if you bumped enrollment at any institution 10%, you've got, a, you've got an instant winner, right? I mean, in the manufacturing business, we have a saying, it's called, volume cures many an ill. When you have enough people contributing, a lot of problems go away. But any change in culture is uncomfortable. Any. And I, know, I, do, I know a little bit about culture. I, I, when Victoria and I got out of college, I graduated uh, from Old Roberts University. We were five years in India and Africa as missionaries. And even today, we, 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 have a, we have a project in Kenya, East Africa, where we've got a school, a clinic, an yeah, orphanage. And uh, cultures are difficult to, to change overnight. And I think, I'm, I keep coming back to this, Illinois' culture is going to have to change. And we need to go from being the most corrupt to the most transparent. To the, to the most courageous to take on where we see we're off balance as far as cost. Um, so I, I, I'm hoping that that's the next step, is that we look across the nation, and I think we can do it. You're gonna see, here's what I think, some, I think what you're gonna see. You're gonna see the private sector step in and do some things that they hadn't done before. I mean, now I, I have some what you might think are crazy views, and that is, I, I think, theoretically, the state shouldn't be providing welfare, theoretically, because I think that's the job of the church. I, I think if the church was doing what they should be doing and, and really yes. reaching out to others, and we were all doing what we should to take care of one another, that we wouldn't need this huge welfare system. But we've actually created an entitlement system now that has enslaved millions into a culture that's not fair. And so I think the private sector is gonna to have to step up. I think churches are gonna to have to step up. And I think we as government should make it easy for them to step up. And that's one of the things I'm working on right now is a, an actual tax advantage for government coming in and replacing, um, for, for individuals to come in and replace government funding. 
think they should get credit for that. That's a win-win for the state. It takes the full burden off the state and the portion of it is, is tax relief. And so I think we're gonna have to look to things like that. And I think some of it, by imposing a discipline on living within our means, a lot of that's gonna happen. How, I don't know. But I do know that if we continue, even though some, as yourself, are willing to pay more, it's gonna push more of these taxpayers right out of the state. Uh, but I, I do, I do believe, as in any 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 business like mine, sometimes I ask people to do more. I ask them for the same amount of pay to step up and just do a little more, to take on a few more responsibilities uh, within our factory. And and I know it would be easy for them to just do one thing, but now I'm asking them to do a couple of things. And what they're finding is they're having to work a little harder, but they're making it through it, and they'd rather keep their job. Then, uh, then just sit back and relax. And so I think maybe, you know, staff-wise in, in universities, we may have to ask people to do more. Uh, we may have to ask teachers to teach one more class. Or, you know, or, or give just a little bit more time. Uh, and so I'm not saying, you know, cutting their salaries is the, is the solution. But uh, sometimes we may have to ask people to do it. Well, I, I think, I think the, the reality is local governments are going to just have to do, you know, operate on less. And uh, there are there are some services, and, and I don't think it's and I don't think it should be emergency services. I mean, those, those obviously are the priority for, for citizens. But uh, if if there are parks and, and, and you know rec programs that have been a benefit to the community, and maybe those have to be reduced in some way, that's something that can always come back. And because uh, I do think we're going to come back to this. I think when the, when the people come back, we're going to come back. When, when the people come back, the taxes come back, the taxpayers come back, and they put us in a better position to, uh, to, to provide more services.